Hey guys, this is another little hacking story, this time about the Philips Sonicare toothbrush, which got this NFC head connected to the handle and will write the time to the um, toothbrush head um, and will remind you after a certain time to replace it and will beep, I think, even and yeah, just will try to bring you to buy a new head. You can still use it, but it will always remind you. This NFC connection is um, reversed by from Switzerland. And he was able to understand how it worked. But it turns out that the writing of this time in the NFC tag is protected by a password. And while he was able to use a HackRF to sniff the actual unlock of such a tag, um, he was so far not able to know the algorithm that goes into calculating this password. And he mentioned that it is maybe based on the user ID, but let's see. So I couldn't help myself and bought the cheapest available toothbrush locally and I tore it down. It's quite simple and only with minimal uh, destructive uh, measurements which can definitely be put together again and if I would have known how to open it before it is maybe even possible without any damage at all. So I connected it to an SWD flasher, connected to the actual microcontroller which is an ARM Cortex-M0, something like a 32F003 which has 16 kilobyte of flash and two kilobyte of RAM. And here you can also see the NXP NFC reader and here the NFC tech. To my surprise, the memory was not locked and could be dumped just like that. So the firmware was read, read and I loaded it into Ghidra and started to reverse engineer all the necessary functions. The one interesting was this do NFC reading, where it will go step by step to first talk, turn on the NFC reader. It will then read uh, if an NFC tag is available. The next is to read 18 bytes of some signature. Then it will read even more if we go in here. And there's this one function which definitely looked like some AES encryption with these random bytes and it's everything 16 byte aligned. So it definitely looked like this could be something which has to do with the password to generate it or calculate it with some encryption. But going one step further in this line, we can see here that it will read from the memory of the NFC tag at the position 1F or register 1F. And if we go to this example here, we can see it starts here and reads down for 39 bytes and will read all this into memory. After that, it has for once the device ID, which it has read here in this first reading. It will then, oh, let's go back here. There, it will then copy this device ID into another byte region. And it will also copy all the different parts from this 1F register area. And also to the second calc, for example. If we now go one step further, it will do this uh, calculation of the password. And if we take a look inside of it, we can see that they are just simple CRC 16-bit functions with one start value, the NFC tag ID we get, and also this other 10 byte long uh, string which you can see here, it will do 10 bytes there and seven bytes there. And after that, it basically has calculated the CRC of this um, device ID and second calc.
This took quite a while to reverse, so I got it this afternoon, so maybe three or four hours are gone by now. And I came up with this solution. It's basically the whole code needed to calculate the CRC and the password for the NFC tag. You can see that we have here for once just a regular CRC 16 function. We have the UID of the NFC tag. And we also have this string, which turns out is for once printed on the back of the uh, brush head, like there, this 10 byte long with one space. But we can also read it out via NFC again. We have here this 210909A2M, which is the same as on the head. And also this UID of the head itself, which you can see here again. I'm here now using the examples from the Swiss guy, where you can see here we have this user ID, which is copied here, and the expected password is here. So if um, we now use the start value, and calculate the user ID to the start value, the CSE of it. We then again uh, use the string and calculate over it and rotate the bytes in it a bit and run this code. We will see that the outcome is exactly the same as from the Swiss guy. So while this is very simple to calculate, it took quite a bit to get behind where it will take all this these bytes and especially as some functions are just pointers to the functions so it was needed to reverse these as well first and they were nowhere used only via this pointer again if i can get back there here it will get the pointer and only will then run this position of the array with these arguments. So that took quite a while. But in the end, we now have a fully reverse engineered password algorithm to unlock these heads to write your own time on it, even without sniffing with the hacker F also. So yeah, that's basically it already. I hope it was not too lame and as the solution is just way too simple to be proud of it, it's still nice to have it done and have it out of the head as this was just uh, taking way too much space thinking about a solution. But here we are. No idea why this microcontroller was not reprotected and it's, it's yeah, strange. Okay. See you next time.